Marguerite, can you talk to me a bit more about the technique you like to use in your painting? I um, start off with a very rough sketch and uh, usually in charcoal or pencil just to de develop my design and uh, develop the focal point where the eye where I want the eye to go eyes to go and and then I then I use mostly acrylic but I do use some oil and uh, and, and I mix my colors I'm very particular about mixing my colors and uh, I have a uh, my, I, I mix my own colors and uh, and use those to do my first outline and uh, of, of, of my painting and once I have some paint on the canvas it will change dramatically it will change quickly because I, uh, I keep improving it the way I think it should look. Do you think, is, are you saying the paint itself changes or the painting change, yeah. changes? The, both. Both, both, both yes. changes. Uh -huh. Mostly okay. the paint, mostly I have developed my paint, mixed my paints, and I, you know, I'm ready to use that. So, uh, Do you mix from raw pigment? I use... Well, I use go pre-mixed colors, but I mix those colors. And oh, okay. All the colors in the tube aren't uh, aren't aren't raw colors. They they are already mixed. Okay, so you want them to yeah, you mix yeah. them further to say yes. what you want yes. to say. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. all right, all right. So with uh, you brought up something there about um, the intention changes mm -hmm. as you paint. Sometimes it does. Yes. <laughs> Do you find that difficult when the painting takes a different but, direction? It depends on which direction it takes, and uh, but yes, it does. It does become more difficult, definitely. But sometimes, even your sketch that you do, once once it goes onto a bigger canvas, uh, looks very different from uh, from what it uh, what it did on a small piece of paper. And uh, so, yes, it, it often changes dramatically from what I had sketched. Do you feel you interact then with? The painting. How do I put that? Do you have a conversation with, with when you're working, <laughs> saying where do you want to go and where do I want you to go? And it, it, it doesn't answer me very clearly. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, 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 I love color, and I think I'm very good with color, and uh, so I can I can usually manage it very well and go in the direction that I intend to. Do, yes. What do you do when you get stuck? Oh my goodness, I stop. I stop and I work on something else and later on I go back to it. Okay, okay. Do you sometimes, I would imagine sometimes when you get stuck you bring those to the critique group? Yes, oh yes, by all means, yes, yes. Well, I bring all my, not all of them, but uh, most of my paintings uh, to the critique group. and and let people look at it and give me ideas and, uh, um, and so forth, yes. What has being a part of the critique group meant to you as an artist? Oh, it's given me tremendous growth. It's really, it, it, it really has enhanced and improved my artwork. To bring it to a group of artists and, uh, and get their input and uh, Yes, it's been a very important part of my life, of my painting life, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where do you want your painting to take you from this point on? Hmm. That's a good question. Um, well, it's a continuous improvement process. You think, oh, you know, you, you, paint, you paint some paintings that turn out really well, and then you do a painting again and you have you that becomes that's very difficult and that's my case right now with one of my paintings it's a big painting and uh, it's becoming very difficult because what I had envisioned isn't doesn't doesn't look right it's it's just not the design the design there's something wrong with the design do you ever give up on a painting oh yes up on and, and what do you do with the painting when you've given up to it? What do you do physically with the canvas or the whatever surface you're painting on? 
I will try to gesso it. Oh, and reuse it. And reuse it, yes. Oh, okay. okay. Sometimes I use a sander, depending on the kind of canvas. <laughs> I get vicious. So oh, get the sander out. <laughs> so if you had started, we were just off camera discussing that we all, many of us started in later in our lives to paint full time. If you had been given the opportunity to study painting in college, it would have been wonderful. Is that what you wanted at the time? I thought about it. I really did. But uh, we were financially in a situation where I needed to have a job. <laughs> Yeah, a steady income. A steady income, yes. Uh -huh. And uh, so I went a different direction. And you went into... I went into nursing, yes. Into nursing. Yeah. So you spent a whole career in yeah. nursing. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's fair that we mention you were born in Germany. Yes. And you you met... As so many friends I have did met military, uh, American military men, and you married one. Yes, I married one. We married in Basel, Switzerland. Oh, how romantic. <laughs> yes, it was romantic, yes. Oh, and you have a son? Yes, I have a son. He's, uh, and a couple of beautiful granddaughters. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, I think your life has uh, been charmed mm -hmm. from from what stories you tell, and perhaps that more than anything is your perspective. Mm -hmm. yes. Do you do you consider yourself a positive person? Yes, definitely. So you you know you make lemonade out of lemons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but during my military time, we lived in many different places, and I think it enhances your knowledge. It enhances your view. It enhances. Uh, about what you want to do. And I've taken art classes in California. I've taken art classes in, uh, where were we, in Northern Michigan. I've taken art classes in Indianapolis. <laughs> so they, but they were all part-time, you know, uh, 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 seminars. And so art has always been a part of my life. Well, uh, I wish I could give uh, the viewers a tour of your lovely home and all your fabulous art that decorates the home. It is, it is so enlivening. And um, so I just think that what you have accomplished is pretty amazing. Are you pleased with your accomplishments? Yes, I am. I'm very satisfied, yes. Mm -hmm. I would like to, you know, painting isn't you start and stop. Painting is a continuous process. Mm -hmm. The artist's growth is a continuous process. So it's always wonderful to see new, get new ideas and new methods of painting. I'm very privileged to have had Gwen Fox in my life and some other uh, well-known artists as well who, uh, uh, who I worked with, who critiqued me, and I learned from, definitely learned from, yes. Do you think your art has changed just because of your personal life experiences? Yes. How so? Well, I started off uh, more with a realistic uh, uh, um, concept, and uh, and yes, and and then I uh, started looking at uh, getting broader, and from the realistic perspective of mountains and flowers, I I looked more at the abstract world and how to express myself in that. Mm hmm. Does abstract express your feelings better? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, Marguerite, thank you for the interview. This has been most enlightening. Well, thank you for doing this. Oh, this is lovely.